China. Well, we've been to China. It's a nice place to visit. But it's nice to be home. Too. I can see you because you're talking. Yes. That came from China. My grandma, well, my grandpa had surgery. He got his tonsils out. So he can't swallow, but he had it for, uh, like, almost a whole year. But he's feeling better, and when he's all better, that my grandma and grandpa are going to Hawaii. Oh, well, that's great. Yeah, it's only going to be the two. So. Uh -huh. um, I thought maybe there'd be a few more here, but I guess there are a whole lot on vacation. It looks like. Yes. Um, uh, I'm going to give you each a penny. Big deal, huh? <laughs> but I, you I already know, have one in my pocket. You already have one in your pocket. Well, great. The reason why I gave you a penny, I really ought to give you two. I got three pennies. Now you got three. Okay. Uh, you probably have heard the story in the Bible about some rich people came while Jesus was uh, in a synagogue or the temple and um, they brought their big gifts. But Jesus noticed there was a widow lady. She had no husband in and she had two little coins. They were about half a penny apiece. And she dropped both of them into the treasury. Sort of like our offering. And Jesus said, she gave more than all of the others. Because she gave out of the little she had everything, her last two cents. But they gave out of their abundance. So they gave more, or she gave more, than they gave, because she gave everything she had. And so I think one of the things that that story tells us is that it doesn't matter the size of the gift we have or the talent we have. You know, can we sing? Can we do woodworking? Can we... Can you think of some other things we can do for Jesus? We can be nice. We can be nice, that's right. We can that's play right. well. Uh-huh. Everything we have, everything we are, comes from God, His gift to us. And as long as we give, as the hymn says, give of your best to the Master. And it talks about give of the strength of your youth. And give of your material possessions. And um, someone has calculated that if those two cents were put at interest, do you know what interest is? I don't know. If you, if you borrow money from the bank, you don't just pay back what you borrowed. You also pay back so much every year. Right now, interest rates are really low, like 1%. 2%, 3%, uh, and that doesn't add up to a whole lot of money, does it? But over 2,000 years, if you take that two cents and you add to it year by year the interest that that would earn, it becomes thousands even millions of dollars. 
And so when we do something good for Jesus, for the church, for God, and we give thanks for God's love, it's like we're giving much more because when God takes our gift and works with it through us, His love is shown to people all around the world. Now, what is your uh, granddad's name? Rick. You mean my papa? Yeah. Um, his name is Rick. Rick? Mm -hmm. um, he's the one that had the talks, is that? Yes. Okay, Rick. Okay. Let's give thanks for uh, what God has given us and then also remember Rick. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for all the gifts that you have given us, great and small. And we pray that we might use them, that people around the world might know that you not only live, but that you love. And we ask your blessing for Rick and pray that you would grant him healing according to his every need. Because, for one thing, his grandchildren love him and are concerned about him. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.